I think as people's technology gets better and better in the home, there has to be a bigger reason for them to go out at night. There has to be a bigger reason for them to pay the babysitter, get in their car, drive to the multiplex, and I think IMAX gives them that, uh, that, that reason to do that. I think IMAX is an affordable luxury for people. You know, times are difficult in certain parts of the world, but it's still relatively a cheap night out. And I think when people are looking for a night out, they're looking for the best possible experience that they can have. So as far as growth in the business, is it about getting more um, cinemas built or is it about getting more films made for IMAX? I think it's about both. I think it primarily it's about expanding the theater network. We've been incredibly successful in America. We've been very successful in Asia as there's been a huge multiplex development expansion in that part of the world. I think the next challenge and big growth opportunity for us is in Europe to grow the network. At the same time, we're finding more and more filmmakers are coming to us because they love what IMAX projects on screen, so we're getting more opportunities mm. to do the big blockbuster movies. So they're coming to you, you're not having to knock on the door as much. It's a great position to be in when they <laughs> do. But we've got some, you know, people like Chris Nolan, J.J. Abrams are huge IMAX fans, so they do come to us and they want to do their movies in IMAX. So the next Star Trek will definitely be in IMAX? The next Star Trek J.J. Abrams is shooting um, with the IMAX cameras as mm -hmm. we speak, and it comes out next May. And as far as expanding throughout Europe, we're here in London with this beautiful IMAX, but not everybody in Europe has one within reasonable distance. How quickly do you think you can spread the model around Europe. Europe's a big region. We've got 99 theaters open at the moment. We'll have, you know, we've contracted 129 theaters. Um, so, but, you know, the, the network is expanding. I think the great thing about the network is, and, you know, certainly what I've learned is, um, you know, we've signed on a worldwide basis over 440 theaters in the last two years. 83% of those were with existing customers. So when an exhibitor gets involved in the IMAX business, they see the business benefit of that and they come back for more IMAXs. You know, the potential universe of IMAX theaters is somewhere between four and 500 in the region. We're at 129, so we've got a lot of growth to go. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, it'll take a while. The economy, you know, plays into that in terms of an, in, an investment, um, but the model clearly works. So right now it's all about 3D, and uh, I hear laser is the next projection technology. Yeah, laser is a very exciting uh, uh, development for us. It's the biggest R&D project ever undertaken by IMAX. Um, we bought 10,000 patents from Kodak, who, who mm. developed the, the product originally. Um, and we're in the process now of developing a laser, laser projection system um, to introduce in the fourth quarter of 2013 mm. that will allow us to put far more light on screen, um, a broader range of colors, um, greater contrast. Um, a great thing for the filmmakers is, you know, when you project a black image on the screen, they like it to be really black. And I think <laughs> the laser uh, technology will yeah. enable us to do that. So if we're here in a few years with this huge screen here, I'll be able to see the colors more realistic you with a laser will. projection. Yeah. And when you put on your 3D glasses, you'll see much more light on screen, which will give a much better viewing experience.